Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of our uh, Hero Wars episodes. <coughs> so, as I promised, uh, let's uh, conclude the Alvanor's Awakening uh, series, mini-series if you will. Uh, the event is coming to an end today. I have cleared pretty much everything that uh, I could in here. Obviously, you can't really <laughs> do all of these, not unless you want to spend like a heck ton of money on the game. Um, we still have to pick this one up, which is very closely related to what you have to do in here, in the uh, campaign map, let's call it. So I still need to open free chess adventures to get one extra here, and that would get me to how much, let's see. 79 of this stuff here which in turn should enable me to get Alvanor's uh, skin right uh, talking about it as you can see I was able already to get all his soul stones directly from the event which is good you want to have all the soul stones to get him to uh, maximum star power to be able to actually see if he's any good or not and of course this episode is all about this idea is Alvanor any good or not is he a good hero to have well I don't know in your main five or in your main ten heroes okay because we all know that if you want to do good in Grand Arena you need 10 perfectly good heroes <laughs> to do so. Uh, in order to do that I will <coughs> go ahead already and spam this here to get all that I can get at the moment. All right. I'm talking about of course the talismans so I'm collect, I will collect everything that I can for the moment. Now we're gonna go to the merchant and we can see that we have enough to get uh, his skin. Alright. By the way, it's the ugliest skin that I have ever seen, to be honest with you. I mean, what were they thinking when they designed uh, this? But in any case, that maybe that's only my personal uh, <laughs> opinion, let's call it. It is in tune with the rest of the spring skins. But it just looks ridiculous. I mean, look at this on top of his head here. Anyway, I digress. So we still have a little bit in here. All right. Uh, so now let's really, really quickly go here. And of course, he's already equipped. Uh, can't really do much here. Just a couple of these and one of these. Uh, we can still glyph him, I think, a little bit. I don't have a lot of glyphs left. Uh, I was able to get him to 20. And I will be able to get him, I think, to 20 on this one as well. So let's just do this really quickly. Well, maybe not. So we are at 18 at, uh, what you call it, intelligence. Uh, also some gift of the elements, I sh sh still have some here and some money, so let's get him up a little bit in this regards, maybe we can get him up there uh, a little bit. And that's all the spark power that I have left. Okay. So that's level 18. As I said, he's a maximum star power. He's level 101. I think it's enough to prove that he is or is not good of being one of your mains. Artifacts. Well, let's dig a little bit into artifacts as well and let's see what we have here. So I was able to get uh, his main artifact to three stars. So he, when he procs his main skill he will get 100% chance to activate and magic attack for the time being is at 30 so I will go ahead and level up a little bit what I can in here as well let's exchange some uh, of this stuff ok 
Okay, I'll never exchange like that. So let's see. Alright, he's getting up there as you can see, magic attack plus almost a thousand, which is great. Let's take him a little bit higher. I would prefer him to be in green, but I don't have a lot of stuff in here, so we'll see what we can do. So we can uh, also get rid of all the purple. Okay, uh, let's go with Denti because. Yeah, okay, so now we are in the green. Let's get him to max what we can in the green. So we already magic attack is uh, plus 1700, more or less. Let's get this also. Everything that is in orange. Okay, and also, every, well, not everything, but let's get 20 of this purple stuff here as well. Get him in the green here as well, hopefully. Come on. It's gonna take a little bit of while, I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to do this on cam. So we need, I think, uh, 10 more of these, let's see. Yep, so now we are in the green, and also let's take all the green and put it in him, and here as well. All the orange stuff first. And now let's go for the purple stuff. We'll go slowly. First 10. A little bit more. There you go, and I think two more, right? 25. I think it's uh, a passage to green. That's 40, and we need 88. All right, and there we go. We are now in green, and let's say take him also to green 29. All right, so I think that's enough for what we are trying to prove here. All right. So I think most of you uh, probably out there don't have uh, artifacts in the green because it's rather hard to be able to get this much artifact essence or whatever it's called for all the free artifacts on a hero to green. Let's face it needs a lot of time, a lot of patience to raise up everything and so on. Um, so I think it's enough. Green it's enough for this hero. Now, what else can we do? So we did glyphs, we did gift of the elementals, we did artifacts. We can't do patronage just yet. I can maybe show you where I am with the items. So we are at uh, purple plus three. That gives him this gold aura around here. Really hard to get these items, so I'm not just... I will not try. Uh, first of all, I don't have any gems that I don't want to buy anymore uh, for the time being. And second of all, it takes a lot of time to get these free items. So we're just gonna rest at uh, purple plus free for the time being. All right. So I think he's pretty much imbued with power right now. Uh, let's take a look first in adventures because we need to finish the adventure first. All right. So let's see how he deals with adventure seven. So this is us here. We're we'll go and attack this route, and we are going to see how he does. All right. So I'm going to replace Dante's. I'm gonna put Albanor in here. I'm not willing to go a full mage team, I'm just gonna keep Jew in here to do some extra damage to, you know, archers and stuff like that, and to imbue critical damage to everyone. Um, I have my Oliver, which is also purple, level 91, 3 stars. He should be able to help us a little bit in here. Uh, so let's see. All right.
Alright, let's get back at it, now that we've seen how the hero acts in an adventure. And, well, it was Adventure Level 7, which is uh, quite an advanced adventure, if you will. We've seen that he does possess some good characteristics and good skills that can actually um, well, help you keep your other heroes alive, if you will. Um, very good synergy with Celeste, for example. They obviously both cast uh, an increased magic attack for the whole team, which is very beneficial. And also the fact that uh, Albanors actually is able to protect you from uh, any uh, common attacks. Uh, you've seen those little blocks uh, right around your uh, <clears throat> heroes and that means that uh, your heroes will stay alive a lot more and well, they're going to do better a better job let's say so let's take a little look into the stats of the hero uh, completely evolved yeah a full star or absolute star of, of uh, they call it in this game um, <clears throat> We take a look at the stats, and we see that his intelligence at uh, absolute star uh, is this number here, which is quite great. And I would like to compare this to another absolute star that I think it's a very good defensive hero, which is Urban, of course. And he's also level 100. He does have some artifacts and skins and stuff like that. So we can take a look and see that. His intelligence is greater actually than Jurgen's, but Jurgen, uh, it's basically uh, has a double amount of uh, health, right? So taking a look again, health, health, right? Uh, this is very quaint and very weird because um, he, f uh, well, he's a frontliner. And Jurgen is not, he's in the middle line. So I think this is kind of a mistake uh, the way he was designed. I think he was supposed to actually be a middle liner, not a front liner, but anyways, these decisions uh, as they come and go <laughs> uh, may be rectified in the future. As we've seen, they've done this uh, nerfing or uh, being other <laughs> heroes such as uh, Arachne, for example, right? Uh, Isaac, they also changed Isaac's uh, for skill, which didn't work at first, and after that seems to be a much better hero uh, overall. Uh, well, I'm not playing that hero, and uh, many of you know why. <laughs> um, looking at his magic attack, again, huge. Uh, 14, okay. While Jurgen's is half of that, right? So uh, we clearly see that uh, he's meant to, uh, well, not necessarily to attack, but based on his magic attack, all his skills uh, operates, let's say. Right? So if we take a look, um, this is depending on health, this is depending on magic attack. This is depending also on magic attack, and of course this one, which is also depending on health, right? So magic attack important for this hero. He gets a lot of modifications during the fight if you do the proper lineup. If you have, for example, like I'm having in the arena right now, this team. Um, this team is going to be the perfect defense team, if you will. Um, I haven't seen anyone that was able to break it uh, so far. Uh, of course, <clears throat> I have uh, an opinion of my, uh, my own on how to beat such a team. Um, and it involves a very highly high level uh, attack team consisting of course of uh, well basically my whole idea with uh, Galahad attack team, right so a lot of critical a lot of uh, attack increase physical attack increase and stuff like that uh, but for the time being I think this is a perfect defense team and if 
you will you can copy that I would not mind and I'm gonna show you why I have opened a guild battle that was answered so let's take a look I collect these here speeding them up and you will see that although pretty high level players uh, attacked me they were made not able to defeat me <coughs> So this is the most important thing I think in Arena to have a powerful defense team that can stabilize the place where you are in, uh, in the current day so you can get the, the modification from, uh, from that aspect of the game, let's say. So as you can see, basically they are not dropping at all in HP. Let's take a look at the next one. Again, speed up. I was actually able, I think, if I remember correctly, I was able to actually defeat this team completely, actually killing all of the enemy heroes. As you can see, the, the enemy heroes are dropping like flies. Although a good team there as well. A combination of uh, stun players and uh, stun heroes and uh, uh, what was the other ability? Mute, muting, uh, something like that. Another one here. So again, these are, uh, well, pretty high level players that have indulged me and uh, they have taken the challenge to attack and see what's the outcome. As you can see this one I have completely defeated. Right. Let's take a look. Ah, this was a joke, I guess. <laughs> Let's take a look at this one. Again, if you take a look, my guys do not take basically any damage, so their HP barely drops in this fight. Uh, questionable, yes, the enemy heroes there were quite low in the level, but if you take a look again at this first fight, I think you clearly can see that this team that you see here is a lot stronger than my own. You obviously can see that uh, again, my guys do not lose barely any HP, which I think it's the most important thing that you need to have or you need to do in arena to have a balanced defense team um, that does this doesn't allow you to lose health very important right so I'm pretty happy about that he was not a bad investment let's call it right so now I'm pretty sure that uh, we uh, will do well on this account keeping this team here as a defense team again and now I can start working on my attack team um, now I have taken everything else that I had I won't be able to get any more of these talismans that I have there already so I'm going to buy three of these boxes I think I have a couple of them for free around here somewhere we're gonna roll them, see what we get at the end of the event. Right. Again. 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 So a couple of trinkets here and there that can help me 
uh, grow my <laughs> heroes even more, uh, which is good. It's a good bonus, let's say. Actually, got a little bit of money, which is always great, right? Gold is, as I said, after gems, the most important resource in the game. <laughs> um, and as a bonus, I'm going to show you again the rolling these boxes, opening these boxes on my secondary account because I know you like that. Uh, I like to watch when we open stuff on these videos. Um, with that being said, Alvanor is a good hero if you look at him as a strictly defensive hero. Um, in the top 10, I think he is number 10, play the 10th place in the top 10. Um, I don't think he's overall a good hero, but for defensive purposes, yes, he's okay. He can do some stuff. As always, please comment, uh, tell us your opinions on this new hero. You've seen mine, you've heard mine. Uh, and if you like this video, please don't forget to like our video and of course to subscribe. Uh, that's a small gesture, gesture for, from you, but it's a big thing for us because this way we can grow our gaming channel. Uh, thank you very much and please enjoy opening the rest of the boxes.